chit chat with cutie that's what they said yep chit chat with qt was killing chit chat with qt for all of this tea hey guys welcome to chit chat with qt let me give my disclaimer the views that i express are my own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only and everything is alleged please make sure to like the video hit that notification bell and subscribe So let's get into the video guys it is a whole lot of legal issues going on so we got messy wanda of all people suing folks and then allegedly her daughter tisha is involved and all up and through the holt's custody battle so let's go ahead and start with Messy Wanda. It's the audacity for me. We have the woman who has talked shit about everybody, including children, now suing because folks have talked about her. Really, Wanda? Wanda, what shysty ass lawyer have you went to and that's taken your money? because you could not be serious. There is substantial evidence that whomever she's suing can present if they are indeed being sued. There's footage from a TV show, Love and Marriage Huntsville, and on that show, she shows her whole goddamn ass on several occasions. And now her feelings are hurt is this the woman that said that she can whoop Mel and Miss Van at the same damn time? That's a threat, isn't it? Is this the woman that was in the car with her ghetto hillbilly ass cousin Bernard when he threatened to use a chopper? That couldn't be this Wanda that's suing, right? And I heard Wanda's BS excuse trying to clean that up, talking about Bessima Bernard meant he wanted to chop on Mel, like he was attracted to her. Chop, chop, like chewing. Wanda, if you don't get your ass up out of here with that BS, girl, bye. You know exactly what he said, and you know exactly what he meant. He meant chopper as in a pow pow. That's what he meant and you know it. So now don't you try to come out here just because you're saying that you've retained a lawyer and you wanna play in our face yet again. Come on now. And then another question, is this the same woman that chased behind a woman and was about to hit her? while her back was turned, Wanda is a victim and she's suing. The woman that has even talked shit to men. Say it ain't so. This could not be the woman that's suing folks. And I'm just gonna give Wanda a little piece of advice. Wanda, if you do go through with this, if you continue to let that lawyer take your money, please know people have freedom of speech, whether you like that speech or not. Everybody does not have a case like Cardi B did against Tasha K. Cardi B won for defamation of character. And Wanda, you've shown us your character and the character that you've shown us, Wanda, whether it was on your live videos or on Love and Mirror Huntsville, is that you're a complete hot ghetto ass mess. Just a hot ghetto ass mess. And you pick and prod and you butt into other people's business and you're disrespectful. 
respectful. That's your character, Wanda. I remember even Kimmy going through shit with Wanda. Well, guess what, Wanda? Karma has spent the block. Don't dish it if you can't take it. And you know the saying, if you can't take the heat, get your ass out that nasty ass kitchen of yours, Wanda. Throw this mess out, save your money, put that money in your truck. I think you gotta have thicker skin, Wanda, because guess what? That's what people had to have with you, period. And then guys, let's go ahead and move on to Tisha and this alleged information that's going around about this witness list. So we know that Ebony DeBest, and if you guys haven't seen the video, please feel free to go over to her channel. I will not be posting this list on my channel. But again, this is all alleged, and this list had a lot of people on it, and I was a little confused because it looked like a call sheet, if you ask me, for who was going to be performing in an episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville. That's just how I felt. But let's go ahead and entertain it for entertainment purposes. Now, there was a letter C with 001, I believe, in front of some of the witnesses. And then there was a letter D followed by 001 in front of other alleged witnesses. So the C is for complainant, if this is true, and Martell would be the complainant. So anybody with the C and those numbers would be Martell's witnesses. Anybody with the D in front of it would be witnesses for the defendant, which in this case should be male. Now, I'm just guessing here. We know that Martel is the one that started this, took it to court and all of that. So he would be the complainant. She would be the defendant. And if that is the case, then Tisha would be called as a witness for male. Now, again, this is all alleged. I cannot confirm or deny the validity of that list. And as I stated, I won't be showing it because I don't want anything to be able to come back and be used against Mel if need be. We all know Mel has this great support system. The cast members know it, Martell know it, and everybody else know it. And I would just hate for them to be able to come and pull videos or this and that for something that Mel had no clue that would be out there. But anyway, like I said, let's entertain it just a tad bit. I think that if this is true, and if Tisha is a witness for Mel, I think that is done so Tisha would have to tell the truth under oath. But the question is, what truth could Tisha tell when it comes to this custody case? And I would think the only thing that would come into play at this point is possibly monies that were tied into Skolt, meaning when Mel and Martell both were partners of Skolt and when Martell only was involved with Skolt. That's the only thing that I can see. I don't see that, again, with that D, meaning defendant's witness. I don't see that they would be calling Tisha to talk against Martell. We know that's not going to happen. He's the one that said her goddamn husband was cheating, and she's still okay with Martell. So, yeah, guys, again, if this is true, I think it's just based on their business dealings. We all believe that Martell wants those kids because Martell wants Mel's money. And Mel may want to show that, hey, he had enough money that he should still be able to live off of comfortably and do something going forward. 
So who knows? Like I said, this is all alleged. I do ask that you guys, and this is just my opinion, think about Mel in this custody battle for her kids. Yes, this is internet fodder, and yes, we're going to talk about it, but let's just make sure we don't say anything where somebody could turn around and do like that mess-ass Wanda, try to call somebody into court. But you guys, drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on both topics. Wanda, mess-ass Wanda, who says she still got them hands at her age, is suing folks for freedom of speech. And then let me know your thoughts on Tisha. Do you think that Tisha is being called on behalf of Martel or on behalf of Mel? And again, this is all alleged. We really don't even know if Tisha is being called at all. There has been rumors about this for quite some time. We also heard that Destiny at one point was supposed to be on this list. So I'm not sure what's going on, guys. But you guys let me know. Drop down in the comments. Let's chit-chat about it. Please also make sure to like this video. Hit that notification bell and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon. Bye.